you've cut little paths right through the corner in attempts to create some entertainment for the community. We certainly have. We actually hired a team out of the States to design and cut the path for us and it took them about seven hours this year to do that, uh, to cut the the paths, which was half as much time as it took last year, because last year they took about 17 hours because the corn was over 14 feet tall when they got here in September, end of September, so yeah. How long have you been doing the maze? This is our second year. And where did the idea come from? Because, uh, you know, you could have just like kept the extra corn. Right. We could have, yes. So about three acres of of path went in, a, or there's about three acres of path. Yeah. So we lost about three acres of our cornfield. But uh, we had a massive uh, downsize in our business last year. Quota was sold, and we ended up with a surplus of feed. And right. so we thought, what are we going to do with all of this extra feed? And our friend Boyd first, he said, corn maze. And I thought he was crazy, but it turns out he was right. So, Sarah, where are you? James, I'm, lost. I'm over here! Oh, thank oh, goodness, I please. I lost you. Don't leave me like that again. Well, we're going to take a quick break right now, but when we come back, we're going on another adventure like this one's not enough. Um, we're going chili boating. Uh, you won't want to miss this fun on the water. Where the heck are we? I think we should try and find our way out. Let's follow the sun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good, yeah. Yeah, well, this uh, time, I, I it's high noon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> high noon. We have to wait a while. <laughs> 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 